Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember during the time when Colin Kaepernick was taking a knee? The mainstream news and Donald Trump and a bunch of rednecks in this country were making the accusation that Black people did not respect veterans and yada, yada, yada. You know how they always make up the usual lies about things that we never said, right? Well, how much do they really love the military? Military families, ladies and gentlemen, are starving. This story came out on NPR November 25th, 2021. The U.S. military has a food insecurity problem. Military families don't have enough food. So who really don't care about the military, ladies and gentlemen? Is it us or is it the people that are not making sure the people that volunteer for their military are well fed? Which one is it? Let's get into this story. I have some audio I want you to listen to from NPR. Some who serve in the United States military may be struggling to pay for the food on the table. That may include somebody listening now. We've got a lot of people in the military who listen. Advocacy groups looked into this and estimated that about 160,000 military service members have trouble feeding their families. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin spoke about this a week ago. Our men and women in uniform and their families have enough to worry about. Basic necessities like food and housing shouldn't be among them. NPR Pentagon correspondent Tom Bowman is on this story. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Steve. And happy Thanksgiving to you. How much of the military is 160,000 people and their families? Well, it accounts for about 14% of the U.S. military, Steve, and roughly one-third of junior enlisted ranks, so the privates and corporals. And it seems to be getting a bit worse. COVID's a big reason. Many troops live off base. And as you know, rents have started going up during the pandemic. And also during the pandemic, there are a lot of job losses. So a spouse uh, losing or having trouble finding work meant you had one income family trying to make ends meet. Yeah, one income that could be $21,000 if you're a private. Even if you're a sergeant with years of experience, it might be $40,000, which is enough in some parts of the country, not nearly enough in other parts of the country. So what does the military plan to do about this? Well, Secretary Austin has said he will temporarily increase the housing allowance troops get in more than 50 high cost areas around the country to help troops make ends meet. We talked about that housing issue with Colonel Scott Pence. He's the garrison commander at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Let's listen. It's toughest in those parts of the country that are high income. The Navy station in San Diego, our joint base, Lewis McCord, right outside of Seattle. They deal with different problems that we at Fort Bragg, right outside of Fayetteville, North Carolina, uh, don't deal with at such a high level. But we're also seeing rent levels uh, go through the roof off post during this, this summer, which is forcing people into some short-term food insecurity situations. And Secretary Austin also said in places with housing shortages, the Pentagon will extend temporary lodging expense reimbursement so families who are moving from one base to another will have a little more time to find a home. He wants also to make sure local commanders are keeping an eye on service members. Do they need the food bank or just basic help with family finances? Remember, these are mostly very young service members in their first job. And then he's also looking in the long term. He wants Pentagon officials to develop what he calls a roadmap to strengthen food security, and he wants answers in 90 days. Is it hard for service families to keep those two jobs that a lot of families need to pay all the bills? You know, it is because, of course, family, uh, military families move every three years. So for so short a period, it's hard for a spouse, let's say, to get a job and then keep a decent job. So Secretary Austin is talking about extending a service member's time at a base to provide a little more stability. What does Congress intend to do about this, if anything? Well, the service members who are struggling financially will likely see some help from Congress this year. There are amendments in the defense bills of both houses that will provide assistance to troops, creating a basic need al needs allowance for those families who are struggling the most, Steve. Tom, thanks for the update. Really appreciate it. 
You're welcome. That's NPR Pentagon correspondent Tom Bowman. Mm -hmm. So how do you do this to the military families that you all claim you love? You don't love no military. That's why we can see so many homeless veterans on the street. Veterans out there with little signs asking for help. If you really love them, none of that would exist. It exists because deep down inside, you don't care. But see, let me just make one thing clear. You cannot shame the Black community by telling us we don't like veterans when we got veterans in our own families. You can't shame us by trying to say, oh, you 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 don't like the cops well you don't y'all don't even like the cops okay you know it, it's funny how when it's things dealing with the black community y'all rah 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 blue lives matter and all that stuff but as soon as them cops come at after one of y'all you change your tune awfully fast that's why i don't pay attention to you and the next time they flip flop on this cop stuff Y'all start calling that mess out. These folks are full of crap. Black people have served this country through every single war they had on this soil. How dare you come to us talking about we don't like veterans? You apparently don't like them because this government is not making sure they are well fed and they're able to take care of their families. Who's dropping the ball the most in this whole situation? It sure ain't black folks. It's not us. Isn't this government supposed to make sure they pay and take care of these veterans and these active duty members? Well, how come you're failing at it if they're starving and don't have enough money to even get food? Who's at fault for that? says a lot doesn't it ladies and gentlemen these folks got a lot of nerve making any accusations towards us and doesn't this debunk everything they said during the time colin kaepernick was taking a knee it sure does doesn't it it sure does i have seen homeless veterans ladies and gentlemen throughout my entire life i can't think of a period of time when I have not seen them on the streets. They've always been there and always been ignored. And you can talk to veterans. I worked with veterans and they talk about the shoddy health care they get from these VAs all over the country too. How much do you really care about your veterans when they're getting shoddy health care? I think you need to go somewhere and be quiet. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.